Hello everybody and how are you? My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. Right, um, today um, I've had a request um, off of a um, young um, lady um, who's unfortunately lost her baby girl. She um, wanted something just like with um, shutters or gates um, to do an arrangement for Christmas to go alongside the grave. So she wanted it in pinks with it being a young little girl. So I have this is mine and uh, I did do something in this before but I did take it apart um, and decided this morning I'll take it apart and I'll do it in this. So I put on a little plaque of a Santa for the little girl who was only three years old and loved Santa. Um, and I've put on pink ribbon and silver. Um, she said her daughter loved the colour pink. So, um, I just want to say my deepest thoughts are with you uh, in your sad times, but also in your joyful memories. So today, what I have chosen that we're going to do for the young lady um, is whites and pinks. And also the little girl loved watching ice skating or ice dancing. So we've got out um, five glittery uh, ruskus, I think the ruskus, which we're going to incorporate those in it also. And I got out these lovely acorns where I can put those in and maybe and put, you know, make those look nice or maybe even stick a few onto the actual frame. I prepared all of this before I started the video. I've cut everything down apart from just a couple of stems of flowers but other than that everything is prepared um, I've got out just a few bits of my willow that I wanted to put in also maybe around the bottom um, I've got out also my pink and white ficus I thought let's use the pink and let's use the white for the little girl who loved her pinks and whites. I've also got out um, just three big glittery uh, palms. Um, again, I've cut the stems down because I've been measuring against it and seeing how high I want the stems. So I've been cutting as well as um, preparing other things. I've also got five um of my feathers as well to represent wings flying to the heaven um i've got out my wispy bits you know me guys i love my wispy bits and also i want to incorporate these for the movement again of flying up to the heavens for the you know the moving upwards so i've also got these and then I've also got out where I've prepared and put tape around them already some pink berries now these I haven't cut because I'm not sure how where I want to place them but I've got out these beautiful um, pink flowers if I can just part them oh that one's stuck onto that one so I've got those out and I think they are wonderful, very girlish. And I thought, 
they would look really pretty. And I've also got a darker pink out as well, just in case I want to incorporate a bit of darkness. Um, I've also got two different types of pink poinsettia. One for the glittery that the little girl liked, all her glittery dresses for the ice skating. And then one what's got the silver tips in glitter around the edge as well. I've got her also just three pieces of cherry blossom because the little girl was a little blossom. She was lovely. Um, so I thought, let's get the blossom for a little girl that was blossoming in her short life. And let's add those in as well. Now I've got some love arts to, you know, represent the love from her family, from her mum and dad, her nana and granddad, and her older little brother. So we've got those out also. I've got, oh my goodness, I've just dropped one, but I've also got glittery silver stars. One moment, guys, and there's a knock on my door. So it's a delivery. sorry for that guys I thought all my deliveries had arrived um, let's carry on um, I, yes I've got out my silver little stars for when she the little girl went up to the angels she had some lovely bright stars and also I'm not sure if I'm going to use these but a few icicles with it being winter um, we thought, I thought we could or maybe incorporate those. And I've also as well got the swirly white bits because the little girl going round, watching the girls and the ladies go round in circles on the ice rink and they could be the circles. So I thought they may look okay also. I'm not sure about these, but I've got some glittery bows that I could also pop in and, you know, perhaps along the bottom as well. Um, now, I'm not sure of these also, but I have got three nutcrackers, all in pink. One's come off the stem. I can put that back on, but all in pink for the little girl as well. I've also got a stag, the glittery stag for Christmas to represent the Santa with the reindeers and I thought maybe we'll see if that looks good and if so we'll pop that in. And last of all, I've got the ice skates. She loved the ice skating so I thought we could pop those in, maybe sit those in at the front at an angle or facing forward for the little girl. I did get this out because the mum says she loved cake, but it's quite big. So I don't know whether it would go with the theme. I will ask the mum, I may not put it in, but I will ask the mum and show her the size of it and see if she wants me to incorporate it. So that is what we have today. Oops, and my cup of coffee. <laughs> Everybody's at work again. So I've had to make it myself. So let's get started. I was thinking of popping one there because we want to see Santa Maybe one here. If I just place them, I'm not going to pop them in. And then maybe one, or bring that one in a little bit more and place that there. So let's get these in first. I 
I've got the choir again tonight. I'll just pop a little bit of the leaf through there. Oh, let me get my clippers. place that one there. I've already put the moss on. I've um, Again, I've done the bows. I've done them at four inch, the ones at the back and the center one, ones I've done at three inch loops. Let me, I need to get these in. Again, I may not be using everything. I've just got things out just to see um, what it would be, look, what it would look like with different options. I'm going to just go through with that one. Bring that there. Do I put a pink one with it? I think I may need a white here. Yeah. If I need to cut these down, then I'll I will cut them down. Let me just see what how I want to place the ice skates. I mean, they would go further down. I just want because I don't want them like that. I want them offset. Yeah. So they will go offset. There's a smaller one. And I've put moss in and I've placed uh, pins in as well. I may not use all of those. Um, try not to hide the Santa because the little girl adored Santa so we need to see him we'll bring one out at the side and we'll just bend it inwards Again, I may not use all of them. I could just put one there. Yeah, in the centre. Just offset. Just slightly there. My mum says she loved her glitter. So... Those need to go at the back. I'll place one just there. I can't see them. Oh, it's here. <laughs> Crikey me. We've not even started. 
want a smaller one. Her mum did say as well that she used to call her my little blossom. Isn't that sweet? Oh gosh, they both look lovely. I need to get these in so I don't use all the room with other things and work around them. I'm not going to put them flat because I want to see the blade at the bottom. I'll put one slightly lower than the other. I don't think I'm going to use any more of those. Oops. You know what I should have done, guys, is cut this stem shorter. Take a bit of this off as well. Because I keep catching them. Let me just see with that. I might put that in. She did say she liked her um, cake. And place a few berries in along the front as well. And these are wired right to the tip so we could place place them anywhere and they'll just bend into any position. Maybe we don't need any more of those either. We'll see. Well, I'll hang on to those. I don't think I'm putting the... Uh, I may put one and I may stick it to that. So let's take one off. Oh my goodness, can't get it off. There we go. And I may just stick that under there so it touches that. But then I don't want those. I'm not, again, I'm not so sure about the icicles. I could put the icicles because they're, you know, like ice for the, um, ice rink. I don't know. No, it looks a bit too spiky. I want it soft. Soft little girl. So 
and let's put a bit of glue on the back. I'm just using my spatula with the glue on and I'm just stroking the back of it. And then I'm just going to place it there. Let's hope that it sticks because it is quite heavy. So I'll just hold it a few seconds. I think the ice boot is pushing on it, so I'll replace that. And I could also, just to be on the safe side, get a floral wire because there's a hole there. And place that. Through there. And then make a U-bend and place the other piece in the oasis as well. And that will keep it in there. So let's replace the boot. Take the old glue off. Here we go with the glue strip uh, string. I can feel it on me. Oh, coffee. The hearts. And then movement. We need the movement. Bring that one slightly to one side. I'm just going to just place where I think yeah and then now I could put mum well brother Nan Oops the daisy I'm just placing these guys then they may not st stick in place brother nah. these all represent the family members They're not going to go like that. I will incorporate them a bit better. I just want to see the place in where they can go because I can bend those down leaning forward. So that's what I'm going to do with those. I'm just wondering concerning these flowers. I like both colours. Yeah, I like both colours. Do I place those in? Yeah. Let's have a look at coming out from the side. 
or I could stick the stars, the star hopper, or I may just put one star for the little girl. The star will shine, we'll do that. Put one star in for her. Now let's see about the stag. No, the stag takes away the look of the ice skates and let's just move those out of the way. Right, so let's get in these little parts. Which will represent Grandad, Grandma, Mum. I'm putting mum in the wardrobe because no disrespect to the dad, but the mum gave birth to the little angel there at Little Blossom, so Dad's really close by next to Mum. And then big brother. So there's all the family members. Less. Let's get this star. Placed in. Now I'm going to glue that so it sticks down the side of the door. Close by with Santa. Now let's get, where are they? Our movement, the movement of Little Blossom as she went up into the heavens. I'm just pushing these slightly down. I think I'm going to put one here. I don't want it in the way of Santa. My son came to me uh, last night and said, um, Oh, Mum, we're having a tombola at work which is, if those of you are, are not sure, you know, in other countries, oh, I feel like I've got a sleeping bag on, um, is like a raffle where you have a main prize, people put, pay for some tickets, on whichever number comes out, when somebody picks it out, you win the main prize. And his business, his company, should I say, who he works for, if asked me if I can do a Christmas wreath for the main prize. So that was a, a surprise. 
I asked if he wanted the crazy wacky um, Santa's legs sticking out or the Grinch or Naughty Elf. <laughs> oh my goodness. And he said, no. They just want the traditional English wreath with the red poinsettia, some ribbon, perhaps some cinnamon sticks and some uh, pine cones. So I told him there's one up there and berries as well. Um, but he said to me, that I don't want one that big. <laughs> I only do big. <laughs> so I've got to do, I'm going to do uh, on a 10 inch reef. I said, well, I, my smallest is 10 inch. He said, that'll do. <laughs> oh my goodness. I said, well, if it's going to be a main prize, you want something big and what's going to attract people and draw them in. No, that'll do. Oh my goodness, guys. Well, it just shows that my son doesn't know about uh, how to draw in people. But then again, he does work for a company that sells tools. So <laughs> it's not like, um, I mean, some men, yeah. Uh, but it's not like many uh, men will be, oh, I want that, I want that. It's usually ladies. Uh, I mean, I've even looked on my analytics and there's a lot, uh, majority of my subscribers are women. Uh, I think it's 95% are women and there's only 5% that are gentlemen. So I suppose, well, I'll just do it. I'm just doing what he asked me for. So I said, I'll, I'll do a masculine one. He said, yeah, but when they buy it, or when they win it, uh, they'll probably give it the wives anyway. So it's a case of, it's got to be masculine and feminine. Well, I've been told. What more can I say? So, yeah, I was Christmas shopping again last night for my other son, the autistic one. He, um, he was buying his girlfriend something, so he wanted me to do all the ordering because he's, he's not very good with things like that. So, I did that for him. I don't think I need these now. So, I did that. Uh, he was more than happy and he, ran, he went running off upstairs like a like a, uh, a 10 year old oh I've, I've done it I've done it I went I've done it <laughs> so and then I heard him saying to his girlfriend oh I've ordered your Christmas present thinking oh my god I dear it I've ordered it for him but if that gives him joy I'll leave it with him. I need something across here. So if I just place that. And these are the spirals for when the ice skater goes around in circles. I want that a bit smaller. So he's looping around. So we'll put one near the ice skate. It looks silly sticking up. Hmm. I may cut it slightly. I may make it smaller. There we go. I wonder if I could place that there. I'll place them both together. Let's stick it on a pick. And all I'm doing with these is getting quite a bit of glue from the centre because it's thicker. And I'm just placing it, as you can see, I'm just placing it in there. And then whatever glue seeps out from the side, I'm levelling it off. So it doesn't 
become on show. And then when I place this in the arrangement, I will place it where the glue is facing backwards so you won't see it. So let's tidy that up a little bit more. I don't want that on. Um, that there as well, that and that down. So we'll stick this little bit in also. So remembering to face the glue either upside down where it's not seen. So it becomes like that. Right, do I place those in? I can't make my mind up whether to put in Because she was only a little girl, do I place in the smaller ones? I think so, because she was only small. Take that into consideration. So we... Just want to see where that fits. Again, I think we'll pop one through there. I'll just place it there. Right, so these are going here. I'm going to put three in. So we'll place one there. This one slightly further down and then one at the back and I shall bend the head so it, it faces forward. Make sure there. Oh, I got a message off of Sandra last night concerning my biscuits, <laughs> making sure that I keep them safe. Oh, I'll keep them safe. <laughs> I definitely will keep them safe, Sandra. And I, while I've been cutting down the things this morning, around uh, 11, I think 11 o'clock, um, I've been dunking them in my coffee. So yesterday I showed them you. Look how many is left. Oh, I've kept them safe, safe in here. <laughs> so, yeah, no, no problems there, Sandra, none whatsoever. Take that out. Put that behind there. These could act like snowballs. I just I don't want to really cover the love art so from the family. So I may have put this one in this corner. I just Pop it in. Right, I don't want those. Now I'm debating about the nutcracker.
They're very heavy. You see, she's a little girl, so I'm not saying that the nut nutcrackers uh, male. I'm just thinking toys. Toys. There's a sparkly one here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I know on the bigger one I've got the mouth opens I didn't think it did it on the small ones but look are you ready guys <laughs> oh my goodness I didn't know that does this one do it well it don't now because I've glued it on oh I say why didn't I notice that before? Oh, and the arm moves. Oh, we're using this one. <laughs> Let's get a pick on it. Oh my gosh, where shall I, shall I place the pick under its arm so the mouth can move? I don't want to place it in its bum, up its body. Not on this occasion, so I'm going to go under its armpit. Let's oh, that arm moves as well. Oh, I didn't know that. When I bought them, it never said anything about that. The move. <laughs> Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, I've just pulled its ear off. <laughs> isn't that sweet? Let's get it in. Just as a little decor piece behind the poinsettia. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> I'm not going to put three in, put the glittery one in. Now flowers. We put a darker one. Let's get these acorns in first. I'm going right in, in the actual corner at a diagonal position. I might push that one in a little bit more. Bring it slightly up. <laughs> Oops. That one there. And what have you noticed, guys, that I haven't got? I bet you haven't noticed something I haven't got. But then again, I think you, you're all rather clever, so you probably have greenery in the colour green. I haven't got it at all. You see, now I've put that star there. I'd have to stand back and have a look. Let me just place it there. 
Let me just come around and have a look because I think it's a bit too big. Yeah, it doesn't go with the theme. The theme that we've got is very um, sparkly. And that That's more like a candy cane theme, you know, in, in a different colour. And we're not doing that. It's not, we're not representing uh, a feast or anything like that. It, we're representing sympathy, you know, and some something that the little girl enjoyed. Um, I know she enjoyed the cake, but, you know, that, that slice of cake is, is too big. If it was slightly smaller than maybe... Um, so I'm not going to, you know, incorporate this. If you understand what I mean, guys, it's just too big. And plus, this is quite feminine, um, you know, and with the, uh, I think I'm going to have to elongate that. And it just doesn't look the part of what we've got in the centre. I think it was just slightly taking it away. Again, I thought, you know, I've got to take things like that into consideration. Uh, I, like, I know that the mum said she liked cake and things like that. Um, but when I show her mum, you know, what the video, I think she may agree that it's just too big and it's just taken um, the look and the, also the theme of what we're doing away. This is more like a girly girly, which her mum said she was. Now, if she, if she was all into a candy and um, a cake and things like that, then I would have done it like that. Um, but... My mum says she was more, she loved her ice skating. She loved watching it. Bless the poor little thing. There we go. Now I do have just place that there. And that bookends. I don't want it to look too book like a bookend. Mm, no. I don't mind that one. I just want to incorporate the flowers. I do have the white. So I could put in between each lover art white for purity and that's what I want to do with those it's just these let's because we've got baby pink everywhere apart from you know the love arts and the palm i want to i do want to incorporate slightly dark color i'm going to take that out place that there i could put one there i want to also take one of these off i want to see what this looks like i could cut this up into little pieces or I could leave it as one. Ain't that pretty? Let me just come and have a look, guys.
now then I think the longer ones that I've just put in second I think they may be too long I'm trying to keep the actual arrangement within the gates of heaven um, so I'm trying to keep those there um, I know I've got the odd bits that's coming out it's like this white one as well that is too long there so that is coming out I know that the palms are but I'm trying to keep all everything with the gates of heaven keep all the all the love and the hot you know the hobby and the child what she liked and the family members and the star and everything all inside it so these would be too long so just to add a little bit of darkness i think i'd pop like these if i get another one I just place it like that it's not covering the love arts I can manipulate the the petal just to show the love arts or bend the love arts slightly down a little bit more so use these as like filler and also there as well and I think that's what I'm going to do with these I can place all oh my cats here I can place this also on this end and use that up oh here's my cat so I'm not going to put these in either so let's get Oh, you're wet. You've been outside in the rain. Yes. Let's get that one. Oh, for all you new beginners who've never met my cat, his name is Marley. He's a naughty boy. He always tends to go right in front of my arrangement. You know, guys, what I've just realised that I haven't done? I haven't put the light on for the video. Give me a second. <clears throat> there we go. That may look better. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Didn't realise we were doing it in the dark. It's because when I was working this morning, I didn't have it on because I wasn't filming. So, oh, I know. You're not getting fed at this time, young man. No. And also, I've got room at the back. If I just turn around. Here we go. I've got room here to place these flowers also. To finish that off. So, I could place... A flower and I could put these leaves here instead oh my goodness Molly you are wet through why do animals smell when they're wet with rain let's take our what kiss oh I know I said a kiss, but I didn't say, oh, a wet kiss. Now that's not positioning right. Let's see if I can turn that leaf. No, it's not moving. Try another one. No. Be good. This, I haven't had him in for a while, guys, because of this. 
I bet you've all missed the steam. I haven't. Because <laughs> I see them when I go in the house. See, here we go. So all you new, new subscribers, this is what he does. Glue string. It's attached to the moss. So if we do this, no, no, no. Oh my good gracious me. Oh. Got some more of these anyway. Because I like to fill, fill the back as well. I like, you know, especially with funeral or memorabilia, you know, from somebody who's lost somebody. I love doing these. I know it's sad times, but I just love doing them. This was what I started out in. I want another leaf on the end. Even though this is going up to the uh, side of the grave you must always you know still remember that it has a back to it and you have to do the same you have to think about the back of it because once they go up to the gravestone they will be pressed down like that but that's all right uh, they won't be but that doesn't matter because at the end of the day you have to complete the look Have you got another flower around there, mister? You just take this off. I'm just cutting off the prongs and things like that so I can keep the stem. Off. so I can keep that so I've been cutting off everything what's been coming off from the side I'll take that as a no young man so we've got one there let's place that in you really do smell from rain that rainy smell Let me just bend the head. If I can get down there. There. So there's a gap there. In fact, one of those others. I could use these because they're smaller. See, that's not, has that got wire in? Don't need those. So I've got 
got that one left. Where can I place that? Yeah, we'll put it there. Again, we just... Oh. Taking into consideration the little girl light. And again, I don't want it how... I don't know if I, you can see, guys. I don't want it too wide because usually the gravestones in the UK I mean you can get them all sizes really but the traditional ones are probably about two foot wide and stand about two and a half to three foot depending on what you'd like really um, it's not just that you do have an option uh, again but for the little girl I, I want to keep it all in because these gates here, even though they are shutters, I class them as gates. So they're the gates of heaven. There's the star that the little girl is and the blossoms where her mum calls her, used to call her, you know, her little blossom. And uh, her ice, in, ice boots where she liked to watch ice skating and uh, a little toy. And the smaller, uh, I think that's leaning a bit, and the smaller uh, poinsettia, because she's only a little girl, I didn't want to give her the big ones. So basically, I'm putting her uh, what she liked and the things that she liked uh, all in one area, all in to the uh, gates of heaven. And then also... Of family members here nan granddad mum dad and big brother all along the bottom so with this my cat allows it i just want to use these as a filler Gonna place one here. A little board. Will you stop licking? Every time you lick, I can smell you. Ugh, dirty. And I'm going to place one here also. Have you lot got an animal, like even a dog, when you take it out in the rain and that? I mean, I don't have to take him out. He goes out on his own. And then they come back, you can smell that rain on them, on the fur. That's what I can smell. So I think I'm only going to put three in and place these two at the back. I will put these in the centre so they're slightly standing upright. Just to give it a different flower. I know what I could do with those. You know what I'm thinking? She was three years old. Three feathers. That one's got something ripped on it. Can't use that. No. 
See what I mean? This is why he's naughty. He's a naughty cat, but then again, I do entice him. I can't help myself. I just like to play with him. <laughs> I could put these, one of those here as well. Let's get these in as well. Put at the back. There's two left. Complete these at the back. Place them on either end. I'm trying to think whether to put two or three in. There's a there's a saying um, that I used to say years ago represent love, peace and happiness. So love is how much love the parents give, peace is rest in peace and happiness is the happy memories. That's I used to say things like that so I think I, I'm going to place three in guys for the love, peace and happiness. So the love and the love The love from all who knew the little girl. Peace is peace in heaven and goodwill um, and happiness. And happiness is the happy memories that she brought the family, you know, while she was around. So. Love, peace and happiness. So that's what I, you know, I tend to think, think I tend to think of things like that, you know, with anything. Um, I try to represent those three um, terms of love, peace and happiness, you know, for, for a sympathy. Again, as I say, love for the love that the people and family members and the, all the loved ones who really adored the person um, peace is you know peace as you enter the world above to the angels in heaven and happiness is all the happy memories um, that you've given your loved ones and, and I tend to take that as well into consideration so I don't need those I don't need that. Oh my goodness, I was going to put that on the wrong one there. Oh, I've ordered some corsage tape, black. And I was looking, let me just tidy up again, guys. Mrs. Clean, uh, I saw some, and they do it in green, pink, purple, blue, yellow, orange, and I have seen it in all colours. But I, have, I could have easily have ordered all that. But I have to take into consideration majority of what the stem, the colour of the stems are, which is green, brown, black, you know, um, it's usually those colours and white. So I didn't get them because, because you know, they'd probably be sat there for quite a while doing nothing, you know, uh, because how many, you know, I asked myself how many times do you see flowers with... Uh, yellow stems how many times do you see flowers with pink stems you know I take that into consideration and if you do have something like that just add the white on instead you know it's a neutral colour so it will blend in so I didn't want to waste my money on something you know or because it's got different colours like colours of the rainbow um, so I left it I just ordered black Black, brown, I didn't need green, I've got plenty of green. Black, brown and white. So, and the thing is, it's not coming till around the 11th of November. 
so unfortunately so i'm hoping that my brown and that lasts that long so right guys that's what we've done today and it's been a quicker video today um it wasn't an intentional thing because i know i do them like around two hours it's just something you know it's it just something i don't know i don't know the answer to it i just it just didn't take me long <laughs> that's all i can say really i can't make i'm not going to make something up um and again this is for a little girl um uh, if you missed what i said at the beginning uh who was three years old who passed away uh, a mum used to call her my little blossom so um so i've added cherry blossoms uh, she loved ice skating um, she loved all glitter and her, fa her favourite colour was pink and um, so that's the colour scheme that we went with and um, she'd got an older brother I think he was about five something like that she said five or six and um, grandma and granddad and obviously mum and dad so that's what the love arts at the bottom represent grandma granddad mum dad and big brother um so i've tried to incorporate things like that she loved the glitter she loved watching uh, when she was watching the ice skating she loved to see all the the glitz and glam with, with the outfits that the ladies wore um so i've added it in a glittery way and she wanted it in um, some gates of heaven uh, just and she loved santa claus absolutely loved santa claus um, she loved christmas day she used to really get excited jumping about and things like that so i thought right let's get her santa claus um, sign put on um, gl glittery ribbons you know sparkly in it where it says merry christmas because she loved christmas a little toy, you know, sparkly uh, nutcracker for a toy. Again, the cherry blossom, because her mummy used to call her blossom. The the bright star shining in heaven above is the little girl. Uh, these wispy bits are representing her floating up towards the heavens. Um, that's why I didn't want them to go above the star because she was floating up and that's how she travelled so there's the floatiness travelling up and there's where she is um, and then the little swirly bits I've placed in around here is on the ice skates where the ladies on gents used to you know go around in really fast circles so I represented that and put some ice boots in ice skates and I put in a tiny poinsettias because she was only three she was a tiny girl and uh, and then again, you know, I've just, like I said, I've put the love arts in and a, a lovely bow at the bottom, you know, for her. So, uh, and then some, some pink berries also. Um, just to add a little bit of touch. And then uh, the glitz, you know, the, the foliage that I've added is palm and some ficus. And uh, that's basically it with the, oh, and the little ruscus here. Uh, so that and then also at the back I've put in some flowers to finish it off at the back and some white white leaves for purity and then again uh, three feathers representing love peace and happiness which is love from the parents peace is in peace in heaven above um, and happiness is all the happy memories that the parents have, have got. So that is a sympathy uh, Christmas uh, pearly gates for a three year old girl. And again, uh, my condolences are really deeply within you, uh, within myself, sending send to yourself. And uh, our thoughts are all with you, you know, as well. So God bless. And so that's what we've done today guys so um yes it's been a shorter video but i don't mind that i've thoroughly enjoyed this i love doing sympathy um arrangements 
I love to put all my, you know, thoughts of angels and, you know, things like that and floating to heaven in into them. Uh, and that's how I think when I'm making them. So, again, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And uh, maybe if you know somebody yourself who's a little boy or a girl, you know, who they've lost, um, that this, this could give you a, a, an idea. So, uh, if it's a little boy, maybe football boots or a football, you know, things like that. So, again, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I've just got the odd few bits to do and uh, then I've finished and then I've got to get something to eat. Uh, I might just grab a few more biscuits and then uh, go to the choir. So... All the best, everybody. So have a wonderful evening and uh, take care. So um, please subscribe, share and like and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.